In the first part of this one-on-one, Melchizedek talked about how he left his own business in Ghana, hoping to reach the UK, and how he was arrested on five separate occasions. In this video, we talk about what happened to his business in Ghana, why he resolved to live in Belgium, and how he's settling in Belgium. Enjoy. July. July, Jim yeah. then accepted me. I started working with them. He was doing some construction where I'll go with him, okay. help him out. Okay. And then I get uh, from this somewhere in September, I get a, a different job. You know, this advert advertising papers. Mm -hmm. I was sharing it. Okay, so you would distribute would, uh, Monday to Friday. Rather unfortunately, you know, our Ghanaian big men in this country, they are very, very wicked. <laughs> <laughs> very, 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 very so there are Ghanaian big men in this country. Yeah, okay. I, I was working for one of them. His name is Mister. Please don't mention him. I'll mention his name. <laughs> do you know? Do you know the problem? On Monday, he will tell you. Monday, you go and arrange the papers, everything before you go and say. Monday, he will tell you. Monday is is free. I don't pay you on Monday. Okay, since you were not declared, yeah, he, it was you, you start left to him to his whims to yeah. pay or not to pay. To pay you, you start on five a.m. in the morning on Monday, on Monday, and come home around eight p.m. is free. Every day you work more than eight hours. He'll pay you thirty euro for a day. day. Per day. Like wow. what will I? What will you do? You need to take it like that. So you accepted this all challenge. So you left your own thriving business in Ghana. Yes. To work in to live and work in the right. UK. You ended up in Belgium, Belgium. And you were making thirty euros per day. day. Well, four days out of five because yeah. you yeah. were not paid for Monday. Yeah. What happened to your business back home? My business back home. I just leave it to one of my friends. And then he's managing it. But later on, I took all my properties, mm -hmm. my machines, my scans, my tools, whatever I used to work with it. I just pack everything. So Why was the friend mismanaging it? No, because the machines were very, very expensive. I bought the hand scanner around 2,000 euros. Okay. So While it, you were still in Ghana? Yeah. Okay. I'm making a lot of money. Ghana, a month, a day. A day, if I have it, it's about thousand euros a day. Living in Ghana. Living in Ghana. One thousand euros. 1, and 000. you left all that to come and live in Belgium. Belgium. So why didn't you just pack up and leave when you started making thirty euros? So I, 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 I decided. I think the problem was okay. Right now, I've left. I've cl closed all of my. You closed fat, that chapter. That big big fat account. I've closed everything. Mm. So that chapter has been closed. The Ghana chapter itself has been closed for me. Wow. I closed the Ghana chapter to open a new chapter here. So the new chapter. So, hold I, on, hold on. I just were wanted, you just too proud to go back to Ghana? I'll say yes. Okay. Because I was thinking that if I go to Ghana, I'm going to start with from the bottom again. Room again but this time it. you had your tools. Yeah, I have did my you did you sell them or you just took them from? I you? sell the oh, the scans and everything out because of um, how they are managing the scans okay. because uh, it's electronics. By the way, before you program everything, you need to get a code, but they are just misusing it. So I tell just tell, I just told my brother to sell everything off. And then, okay. So they sold most they, they the sold most expensive ones. ones. So they used that one to be taking care of my daughter. You know, I was living in Ghana, I have a daughter. So you have a daughter in Ghana? Yeah. How old is she? We had to edit out a big chunk in this section to protect his privacy as well as that of several people who were named and whose consent we did not have. We talked about the various jobs he's done since deciding to settle in Belgium and how he met his wife. Sorry about the choppy nature of this session. Please enjoy the rest of the video. Then he called me Charlie. We are looking for work. I said, yeah, why not? With my own paper, yes, I will. Mm -hmm. So I just go and register it. 
Uh, you didn't go there. I just called them. They registered me online. Necessary document. I scanned my passport, my everything. I scanned it to them. The next day, boom. I start working. You started working? On the 26th of June. Wow. That was, you said 20th? Uh, when Or 21st when you got your documents? Documents. And on the, the 26th June, you were working? I started working. With your own documents. You've been married for two years now? Two years now. Any kids on the way? Oh, we are praying to God. Okay. We are praying to God. <laughs> I hope, I hope so. I'll get to West Twins. Two? <laughs> yeah, I'm praying for Twins. <laughs> Because seeing how God has been good to you, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> so if I didn't get to anyone that God gave me, because I have so many kids in the church that I always pin them mm. small, small. So I don't know that <laughs> they'll kill me alive. So okay. So and you are still in good um, contact with your daughter back home. Yeah. Okay. My daughter even in school faces. Is bigger than my transportation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ghanaian education is expensive. No, yeah. no, but that's because you. She's in a private school. Yeah, I took her to private school. I don't want. I don't want the situation that. Uh, because Ghana has free. Yeah, I don't want the situation. Primary education. Yeah, I don't want the situation that uh, you'll be some place she cannot express herself. She she is need to, because I didn't get the opportunity. To study how I wanted to be studied, mm -hmm. but so I will not give any chances for her to to go through to the, the same, same struggles track. because the student is going is going to Montessori, but I make sure that they give him. He's doing French, by the way. Okay, so the intention is that she comes. And she, yeah, yeah, she's doing French, but uh, the last time he, they show me her results was. Even French, he was ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, how is the language studying going? Oh, now I pause. You pause? I pause. I I, I started with a, a school in St. John's whereby they don't have accreditation. So, I don't want to waste But my... the whole point is to learn, learn the language. So, no, with or without accreditation? No, I need no. accreditation. Okay. Because now I don't, so I, you are still looking for another yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. So oh, that's very nice. So after that, uh, what, what I was saying with the, I just about the job. I start working with twenty sixth June. Up to this time, God has been so good. So, so many people have been in Europe for so many years mm -hmm. working with entry. Going be so good. I started working June. 2020. June 2020. Let's say during the pandemic. During the pandemic. April 2021. First April, I have my first contract with my own document. You have a permanent contract with my your own company. Document. Yeah. With your own document. My own document. Well, six years after you set off. Struggling. In 2015, you set off from Ghana. 2021, you have your own documentation. Document. With your own contracts. Okay. So life seems to be on the up and up now. Now any intention of getting back into mechanic? Or? Yeah, I have the idea to go back to my normal front. But you know, no you have the language barrier. Okay. The language barrier. But I'm trying to work things out and see if I can start one or two things. But I've it's been a long time I practice. Mm -hmm. So now the only thing is that you'll be online frequent. But now, you know, unfortunately, I work in the night. So, daytime, I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> so. The night shift? The night shift. Every day? Every day. From what's, Sunday what's to Friday time? morning. What's your timetable like? You start on Sunday? I start on Sunday evening. I start when do you start work? I'll start like 12 midnight. Mm -hmm. Finish in the morning. Seven forty-five in the morning. Seven forty-five. That's when most people are setting off to get to work. Some people waking up. Yeah. Normally, I normally seven forty-five. I'm done or eight o'clock. Wow. Wow. So I'm 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 planning to adjust some times, and then start working with businesses back home. Mm. I, I just want to go in service offices. You still want to rebuild another business yeah. in Ghana? Yeah. 
Is it still linked to the mechanic? Yeah, that yeah, yeah. I cannot do anything without the mechanic. Okay. I cannot go establish. I can do so many kind of business that will give me money, but I cannot run away from my roots. Okay. You feel that's that's what God has given right. to me. Okay. That's what I believe because it's the tip of my hands. I always feel it. Mm. Any time that I see something, I always want to touch it, touch it, and work with, and it. Work with it. In the final video of this interview, we will talk about Melchizedek's future plans in Belgium and in Ghana. Subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. We'll be bringing you other super interesting interviews soon. Stay tuned.